everyone welcome back to the channel you're watching our cloud school in this video we are going to talk about failed activity with azure data factory we'll have a demonstration of the same with our azure data factory instance so let me just open the data factory instance and we'll walk you through about this particular activity type and when to use it so let's say this is the data factory instance we have it and within this particular data factory instance we have got number of pipelines so this is a pipeline which we have created in our previous demonstration where we talk about how to use the web activity and with the web activity we were making call to a web api uh, in this example i've changed the url to some github api so this is a github api which i am using it it will return the all the issues of this particular organization this repository and with the status or the status in close so if i just run this api on the browser this is what the response as an array i'm getting it right the same api i'm trying to make a call to from my web api within the pipeline of the data factory pipeline and trying to grab the response like this in this particular variable if i go to the settings of variable uh, activity response output and then the response and that's how it is running it right now correct now let's say that you have the number of activities in your pipeline forget about this web api activity but it could be any activity copy data flow or any other type of activities you have in the pipeline and due to some logical reason if your activity fails and you want to return a successful message when i say successful which a meaningful message as a result of your pipeline then what you can do is you can make use of fail activity so fail activity will help you driving a valid fail response generated from your pipeline so i can let's say use this particular activity type which is a failed activity which i've dragged it just from the general section with this failed activity it has got two configuration if you go to the settings you got an option as in failed message and error code what is the message you want to show as a result of this failed activity or if something has failed what is the message you want to show if, similarly if something is failed what is the error code you want to display it may be possible that the error code you want to grab it from the activity let's say in the case wherein i'm making call to my web api and if due to some reason web api call fails let's say due to the unavailability of the api or some logical error then it may be possible i want to grab the error code from my previous activity so i can do that as well or let's say if you are using a copy activity and that has failed because let's say container is not available or the file is not available itself and you want to show a custom error message that something has gone wrong with this and that and that is the reason uh, it, it's failed so that the reason it is failed and uh, that is something you want to display usually use the fail activity the how do we use the fail activity is any activity you use in the pipeline you see that at this section you get four options right here so you get four option here right the option number one is on the option number one is on completion option number two is on failed and then option number three you have it is on success on success right and the fourth option you have it which is on a skip so if your pipeline activity is skipped due to some reason then that is what you want to do so in the cases when your activities usually fail let's say due to some reason then you want to perform this action right which is this one so how you perform this activity is you link the previous activity in case of a failure of your previous activity you want to execute this fail activity right so the way you do it is you click on this on fail you create an dependency and you attach to your failed activity and this is how the dependency has been set up here in this case 
So now what is going to happen is if my web activity is going to be failed, then this will execute. If it is succeeded or if it is not failed, then the other activity will, will execute. So if I debug this for an instance, uh, it says that right now it says that failed requires the error code and error message to be passed on. So I'm going to get a value of the response failed. So what is going to happen in this case is let's take an example of web activity output and I'm going to say it as an a response, right? As an error code. And similarly, I'll put this a value for now. I know this is not going to be the right thing, uh, right output like error code and a failed message. But until we get the failure message, what kind of a failure we are getting, we would not be able to figure it out what value or what property I should be using it here. Hence, I, I'm, I'm putting it the values like this. So let me just debug this and see the behavior. Like I mentioned, my pipeline failed activity will only execute if my web API activity will fail. On failure of this, this needs to be executed. Whereas in this is on completion of this, the set activities will execute. What does it mean is it will execute the next activity, which is set activity, irrespective of pass or fail. Whereas this will only be executed only if it is failed. As you can see, the output of the pipeline activity is web API completed, set activities completed, but this time it has not run the failed activity. The reason for that is because my previous linked activity, which is web activity is successfully completed. So let's make this web API activity as failed. So I'm going to remove the status as in C. Uh, instead of close, I will make it as a C, which is an unknown status. I'm expecting the result to be failure and I'm running the pipeline again. And as you can see that this has failed now. Let's run the pipe, uh, refresh the activity. And as you can see that it has failed the web API activity. And this is what the message I'm getting it. The output, if you look at here, which is this right the failed message is going to be arrived in this particular section and the error code the reason for that is going to be inside this section so now we got our data but here in this case the failed has been executed whereas in the previous case it was not executed right and if i have a look at this it says that the failed itself is failed the fail to interpret the fail one message or error code because it is not able to figure out the message code or error code based on this response. So what does it mean is it needs to check the value from this response. So I need to check, create the value as an error code. I'll be using this error code as a message, fail message. And here I'm going to hard code the value as in 500. Okay. And the next activity we just set variable activity because we were trying to set the variable as in response and it is executing regardless of fail or pass and that is where we have a problem because we don't want to execute this if it is failed so what i need to do is i need to right click on this i need to change the status to succeed it so what i'm saying now is this is going to be run only if my previous activity is completed and this fail activity will run only if my previous activity is fail. So let's run that and this time we'll see a valid response. As expected, this time it has not set up any set variable activity whereas here in this case it has set up a variable with this value which is error 500 and you are getting the value detail as in validation fail. And we are getting the result as well and now again success if i just change the value to the correct thing or correct value is enclosed which is the correct status you would find that this will not run but this will run and this is how you use the failed activity and it's not only for like i mentioned previously as well this failed activity is not only for the web api activity but it can be for anything let's say if you're making call to any pipeline or you can make use of that activity with the pipeline as well. For an example, I can have it like this. Let's say if a pipeline execution fails, then I may want to 
perform or set this particular value. So you can have this kind of execution or the flow set up for any of your pipeline activity types wherein you can define if the execution fails then what exactly you want to display a message to the end user as an status which will be logged into the monitoring section for an example right so let me just read that and we'll see that uh, the last run which is with the valid url which is a valid response and this time the failed has not run this time as the set variable has run and now if you look at the set variable response this is a response we are getting we have converted the response into the string type as you can see here this is the entire json body which is converted into a string of course you can run the json function if you would like to convert this string into a json type so that's it about the failed activity type so in this demonstration, how we have learned how to use the failed activity with various other activities type by setting the dependency on failure, on completion and the other activity status type as well. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.